Now, are you currently looking for a free-to-play 1970s themed competitive first-person shooter? You're you're not. Oh, okay, well, this is kind of awkward. Well, thanks very much for what? Oh, you are? Well, then, you're in luck. Yesterday, Warframe's creators, Digital Extremes, announced that they're working on a new game called Keystone, which fits the description that I just mentioned. It's a new development team working on it, so don't worry, Warframe's not going anywhere, apparently. Now, back in 2015, one cheeky sod managed to find out where DE's offices were and managed to sneak into them, have himself a free lunch, and he sat in on a meeting where they spoke about a new game called Keystone. So it sounds like this game has been worked on, or elements of this game has been worked on for quite some time now in the offices at Digital Extremes. So Keystone, like I said, is a 1970s themed first person shooter which takes advantage of unique decks of cards for each hero, which will give that hero extra bonuses, powers and of course weapons. Kinda like mods and warframes, and or maybe not, you're going to be able to customise each deck to try and give your character the best advantage possible, and these decks when paired with decks used by other teammates can also be hugely beneficial. Players will travel through a board game multiverse as well, which kind of sounds like each map might be a spot on that board game or something like that. We don't know because we haven't been shown anything on this yet. In fact, that's pretty much all we know about the game is the image we were shown on the website and of course that little short description. Now, I've seen comparisons to Dirty Bomb, to Paladins, to Overwatch and even Team Fortress because we as gamers always seem to compare games every time a new one gets announced. Oh, it's a military first person shooter, then it's definitely copying Battlefield or Call of Duty. Or it's a MOBA, then it must be a Dota 2 or League of Legends clone. Zombie Survival, definitely a DayZ clone. Now, I'm going to hold my reservation until we can actually get a look at gameplay or even some stills of gameplay or more info on certain aspects of of the game. Digital Extremes have a history of pretty good first person shooters, not Warframe's Conclave, that's well, that's what it is, it's Conclave, but Unreal Tournament was a huge success for Digital Extremes. And I will be honest, there are a few worrying things that I want to talk about before I end this video with regards to the description of the game, and hopefully Digital Extremes will clarify these points about Keystone at a future date. First off, it's being called a competitive shooter, which if it doesn't have designated servers, then that tag needs to be dropped right away because no one likes playing peer-to-peer -peer competitive shooters. I love my shooters. Outside of Warframe, it's all I really play, and every time one gets released that's running peer-to-peer -peer connections, it gets destroyed first off in reviews and then by the player base, and eventually the game just dies out. And I really don't want to see that happen to this game. I, I kind of hope it's really good. It's also a free-to-play game, so there can be no element of pay to win whatsoever. If we can buy these decks for real money that will give us better weapons or bonuses or any kind of an advantage over other players, then this game will be dead on arrival. Simple as that. When it comes to shooters, cosmetics and emotes and things like that are the only real form of microtransaction you can have or else it is straight up classified as pay to win. Now, the next thing I would like a bit of information on is the anti-hack software. The problem with a lot of free-to-play shooters is they quickly become saturated with a lot of hackers if the game isn't actually policed properly and you really don't want to be jumping into a free-to-play game that is full of hackers because it's going to completely ruin your enjoyment. So hopefully we will get some kind of clarification from Digital Extremes about Keystone and about these elements that I've spoke about that kind of worry me a little bit over the next few weeks or months because the one thing that Digital Extremes has always been kind of good at, especially with regards to Warframe, has been talking to their player base and kind of telling them everything that's going on. So if Keystone in fact doesn't have peer-to-peer -peer and has designated servers, if there's also no element of uh, pay to win with regards to microtransactions, and if there is a decent system in place to keep hackers at bay, then I will be a little bit hyped and I will be really looking forward to how Keystone turns out and what way it looks when we actually get to see some proper gameplay of it. But let me know what you guys think of the Keystone announcement that they released yesterday in the comment section below this video, whether you're looking forward to the game or not. I know Warframe is a third person shooter and this is a first person shooter, fuck me third person shooter. <laughs> so that kind of different types of games and one's PvE, the other's going to be PvP, so chances are if you really like Warframe you may not enjoy Keystone because it's a different type of game, but let me know in the comment section below like I said, and as always, thanks very much for watching.